Alright. Assalamu alaikum everybody. And uh, I will start to um, wish you all an Eid Mubarak. Eid, Mo Eid Mubarak from me as well. I'm here with uh, Jamal Nguyen, the captain of the Bangladesh national team. And for you guys who don't know who I am, I am uh, Yusuf Bhatt, the national team goalkeeper of Pakistan. And um, today we're here uh, to talk a little about, about uh, football in the Corona times. Yes. Right, Jamal? A lot of people don't know that, uh, oh yeah, Jamal, let's first of all show that we are keeping the safety measures of a, a meter. And you can see here, there's more than a meter between us right now. So we are keeping the, the safety distance. As social a, distance, guys, social distance. Yeah, to be safe, inshallah, to uh, get through this coronavirus. Um, Jamal, a, a lot of the guys, I think people know that uh, me and you, we have uh, known each other for uh, 15 years, I think now. Mm. Uh, we've been teammates in two clubs. Yeah, right? yeah. We, we played together in uh, the first time was in HIK. Yeah. Uh, we were very young. Yeah. Um, oh, we, we had a great time in HIK. 17, 18 years old? Yeah, yeah, 17, 18 years old. And, you know, we had a great time and, you know, good memories actually. Yeah, yeah. and second time we played in, uh, in BGA, remember? Right? HIK was in the Danish uh, first division. I remember we got relegated to the second division, and then we were uh, in BGA as well, also in the Danish second division. I remember. Um, and uh, yeah, a funny fact is that uh, Jamal and I we uh, we actually uh, live for what uh, fifteen minute, minutes from each other. Yeah, the we, next city. Yeah, we live very close to each other, so you know it's good to live uh, near each other so you can keep the relationship going yeah because you know like uh, Jamal really needs a relationship with me because you know he needs all the favors he can ask you know every time you know about information everything you know it's 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 always always uh, yeah yeah Yosef he's good outside the field but inside <laughs> the field he has some problems you know uh, that's too funny kidding. because just kidding you know that Pakistan always beat Bangladesh but yeah what can, what can I say what can I say but Jamal, uh, remember, um, let's say maybe people don't know about, uh, maybe talk about uh, you being punctual. Are you good at being on, on time? Uh, yeah, I'm not good at being on time because I don't know why. I'm just, yeah, you're too busy, I, yeah? I've always been like that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, you're the punctual one here. Yeah, right? I have and a Joseph, funny story. Joseph is always on time. Yeah, yeah. you can tell. I, I, have a, I have a funny story, you know, to tell about that. I remember uh, back when we were really young kids, you know, uh, starting off uh, playing in the in the professional leagues, you know, and um, we had a cup game, and, and and me and Jamal were not regulars yet. We were uh, breaking through the first team. I remember. And we had a cup game, and Jamal and I had to make the starting eleven in that game. And uh, the game was at uh, three, and 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 we had to meet there at one o'clock. So I, t I tell Jamal, uh, okay, be ready at twelve at your place, and I'll pick you up, and then we'll drive over there. And uh, because I was one year older than Jamal, and uh, and I had a license, so I borrowed my parents' car, and then I go to him, I stand outside, and he's still sleeping. Go in and wake him up get him out, get him in, and he goes, okay, let's go to the field. And he goes, I don't have my boots, I don't have my shin pads. And then I go, where are they? And then he goes, in the club. Yeah, so so the game, normally we play Saturday or Sunday, but this game was a cup game, so we played on a, on a weekday, I think it was a Wednesday or something like that. And I had all my things in the club, and, you know, Joseph, he picked me up from home, so, yeah, I kind of f***ed up. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty much because... Then we get to the club. The club is closed because everybody was had left there to go to uh, to go to the game. So we were like finding people to try to open. We finally get someone to open, and then we get his boots. Then we have to go there. And at that time, I remember we didn't have you know like Google Maps and stuff like yeah. that. So we have a really map. We're looking at it, and Jamal of course had the map. And then I was like Jamal, what way? What way? And we couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. And, and then we end up finding the, the game and we're there 15 minutes before the game starts. Yeah, coach was not happy. <laughs> yeah, I remember the sports director came to us, the chairman, you know, we were like, if we don't win this game, you guys will never play this one again. <laughs> yeah, we were like, yeah, whatever. 
<laughs> oh, I remember I got really scared though. I got really scared. But alhamdulillah, everything went well. And actually, I remember the, the goalkeeper got injured in, in, in the first half. And then I came in. And then you also came in. Yeah, I came in. And yeah. I, I think I scored. No, no, no. no. I don't think so. Why, why are you doing that? Breaking up stories. <laughs> no, but we, we, had a, we had an impact on the game. Yeah, that's true. I remember we had an impact. Maybe, maybe I think you maybe assisted the game. The I think game. it was an assist or something. Yeah. Like and then we I, had, I remember yeah. after the game, the coach, he was... He was happy with our performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. I remember that was that was quite funny. I think we talked talked about uh, our uh, yeah history together, and uh, and our history continued towards the national team, right? Yeah, yeah. So Joseph, he was playing for the national team, also in a very early age, and he contacted the federation for me, the BFF federation, and yeah, I had a friend who actually yeah, contacted your friend, yeah. So, so yeah, he came in contact with the BFF and BFF uh, got in contact with me and the Sheikh Marcel coach, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Tito, he, he contacted me through email and he saw some videos of me and he really liked me and he invited me to Bangladesh and I came there for, you know, a trial and First time it didn't went well uh, because it was too hard. It was there was too many people and all these small things that I had to I had to overcome. Overcome. Uh, but yeah, that was actually my start into the to the national team. Um, so yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. Uh, and then uh, I remember that uh, in I think it was in two thousand. I remember I made the national team in 10 or 11 and you made it in 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I remember in 13 in the South Cup in Nepal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, we, were, um, we were facing each other in the group game for the first time, I remember. And a funny thing, you know, in, in Nepal, they uh, they mixed all the teams. Normally when you play, uh, uh, you have each floor you have a national team. You have the Pakistan national team on one floor and the Bangladesh on the second floor, and stuff like that, you know? But uh, I don't know what Nepal did. In they, Nepal, they, you they, had room <laughs> next to each other. Yeah, so me and Jamal ended up here. Yeah, we, we had a room next to each other in Nepal and that was kind of funny because, you know, we we are good friends, uh, and and now we in Nepal, and we are having room next to each other, and we're gonna play against each other the next day. So that that was not normal for me. Yeah, that was uh, that was very special. You know, we were sitting next to each other, eating as well. Yeah. And, um, we didn't have separate eating times or nothing. And uh, remember, you remember Jamal the day before the big game against each other. <laughs> what happened? What happened there? For yeah. Story? So so the day before the game against Pakistan. I think it was 3 a.m. in the morning, uh, an earthquake. Yeah, it was yeah, an earthquake. Yeah, big, big, big one. Big one. And, you know, Joseph, he got up and I was still sleeping. And I could hear somebody knocking on my door. And I was like, what the hell, man? I'm just going to sleep. And then I could hear Joseph like, wake up, wake up. There's an earthquake. And he's still sleeping. <laughs> yeah. And then. I got my passport, that's the only thing, and I went down with, with Joseph and we were seeing all these other people standing in front of the hotel and, you know, people were scared actually. Yeah, yeah I remember, I was scared and I, I've never like experienced this big uh, earthquake. I remember when I was younger, uh, visiting Pakistan with my, uh, with my relatives, you know, uh, I, 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 you know, I experienced one, but this one, it was crazy, you know. Yeah, it was crazy, it was, it was a crazy big one. So I, I remember when walking down, you were like, whoa. Yeah, was, uh, the roads were... Yeah, exactly. Was, I think it was, it was one of the biggest. But yeah, but let's talk about the game, you know. Then we come to the game and, and, and you know, I'll let you explain to the, to the people here uh, in Pakistan and Bangladesh. Uh, what happened uh, in that so, game? So, the first time I played against Pakistan, um, against Joseph, uh, my team went up 1-0. And then second half, I think Pakistan they scored two goals, but I don't think you think, but yeah, that is what happened. Yes. So we lost that game, and you know, um, and then and then yeah, I was happy. I was texting him. I was <laughs> knocking his door, and, and saying, I, didn't, oh, I didn't reply. <laughs> I was very angry because we lost to Pakistan because they are our enemies, so we have to beat them. But <laughs> they beat us, and but you know, okay, okay, you got your revenge in 2018 South Cup. We played each other in Bangladesh. Yeah, so in Bangladesh, in Dhaka, we played for a full stadium against 
Pakistan and yeah. you know I remember a very very funny you know a Jamal captain he was very serious and I was the captain yeah 36,000 people yelling Jammu Jammu he's serious you know and we're standing there you know don't speak Danish so I'm chatting at him in Danish and kicking me in the butt and he goes no in Danish no no stop be serious be serious <laughs> I remember, I remember him, uh, like, I was trying to get a uh, mind game with him, you know, trying to get under his skin, you know. Yeah. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. But, Jamal, can you tell the people what happened afterwards, after the game, the two kids, who brought us to the semi finals? So, let's talk about the game. We won the game and we played. And it was a silly own goal in and 93rd minute. And Come you know, on. Pakistan is, they always have excuses. So We're dominating. So, we won the game and that was the most important thing in that tournament. That no, I, that was not the important thing. The I point. won against Joseph and, you know, Joseph but, is... But Jamal, he was crying after the game. Jamal, please tell the, the Bangladesh and the Pakistani people uh, who went to the semi-finals. Yeah, so Pakistan, they went to the semi-finals because we, we kind of yeah. had a bad result in the last group stage game against Nepal. That's why we didn't qualify. Uh, we should just have played draw against Nepal, but we ended up losing. Yeah. And so they went through on goals, I think. And, yeah, uh, goal, and goal difference. They got beat up by India 3-0. 3-1, uh, uh, thank you. Oh, 3-1. Yeah. Yes, yes, thank you. Channel, what time happens? What can we do? Uh, Yusuf, will you say something about the future? Yeah, now we're, uh, you know, it's, it's the coronavirus, you know, so uh, things a little bit, uh, yeah, under, uh, yeah, I'm still, I saw that uh, the Bangladesh uh, Federation had uh, cancelled the league in Bangladesh, right? Yeah, yeah so the Bangladesh uh, Federation they decided to cancel the league because there's too many cases in Bangladesh right now and the virus is spreading all across the country, so so they didn't want to take any any chances. So they just decided to cancel the league, and then they're gonna start up in maybe three to five months again. So I'm looking forward to that actually. And Shamla, I've heard that the guys from Pakistan as well, they will also start the league in in three, four, five months. I think as well in Pakistan. Hopefully, I hope you know. Now we've gone through a new federation. Uh, uh, yet again, so uh, hopefully there will be yeah some some football to look forward to. Yeah, you know we play football and what That's we cool. want is to play football, so it's very simple. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Though in Denmark we are here in Denmark at the moment, and in Denmark you know it, it's a small country. You know we have five million people here, and compared to uh, Pakistan who has two hundred million and. What one sixty or something in Bangladesh? Yeah, one sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's a lot easier to control here. So, Alhamdulillah, I play still play club football in Denmark, and uh, we are starting here in a, in two weeks of time without audience, of course, um, which will not be the same. But uh, that's uh, if you if you kind of take that uh, to play, then of course we will we will do that. We will sacrifice that. Even though that I just say uh, all the people that that matters and you guys that matter, um, yeah. So uh, also Jamal, uh, Pakistan was uh, supposed to. Did you know Pakistan was supposed to host uh, this year's South Cup in Pakistan? Yeah, I heard it, but I don't know. You have some problems in, in Pakistan. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, the federation, uh, um, FIFA, interfered and uh, and uh, has now put in an organization committee. Uh, so we have to find a new body and um, hope, I hope uh, that uh, things will become better now and, and you guys were so gracious to uh, take over the, uh, the South Cup, so inshallah, I think it's in 2021, 20, I think we'll play in Dhaka again, right? Yeah, I heard we're going to have it in Dhaka next year, so hopefully my dream is to lift the South Trophy. Oh, yeah. in, in in Bangladesh, that would be a big dream for me coming through. Oh yes, but you still have to beat Pakistan. Mm -hmm. you, really, you need to remember that. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna have the third and final game, huh? Yeah. Not, no. uh, hopefully not final, but uh, th the third game to, yeah. in to Inshallah, in, 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 inshallah, we're gonna beat them. <laughs>
No, 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 but you know, you know what? I really envy you guys all. I really envy you guys because you guys, you have an amazing league structure. You have foreign players, you have sponsors. I see you having a lot of sponsors and dealership. And Alhamdulillah, it's also a good pay over there. Like, I would love to go to Pakistan and play. I know you've been there since 2013, so you've been yeah. there, Alhamdulillah, seven years now, right? I would love to uh, if Pakistan would have a decent league, you know, like in Pakistan they play Premier League in two months, three months, that's it. And and, and then they just, uh, you know, do simple tournaments and stuff like that. And they do departments, they don't do clubs, they pay them all year, you know, mm -hmm. have decent contracts, bring in uh, the guys who play abroad. Why should we play abroad? We can go to Pakistan and play. I would love to live in live in my uh, home city of Lahore and, and, and play there, you know, maybe do like in India as well. Have an ISL league, you know, three months where you have Lahore, Karachi, stuff like that. I would be amazing, and you know, and and funny thing is, Jamal, even though we don't have our own league, you know, <laughs> and we and we do envy you guys for your league, and we still end up beating you. Even well, though, well, you lost the last time, and so yeah, that, that is what counts. And <laughs> you cannot talk about twenty years ago, so. Yeah, yeah, but inshallah, inshallah, I hope that um, whoever will be in charge uh, of the Pakistan football team will um, will help develop Pakistan into uh, to to a better football future, and maybe you look at our neighbor countries like um, you guys in Bangladesh and in India towards having a football league structure and having uh, televised uh, games, which is, uh, in my opinion, one of the most important things to to build up uh, popularity like you guys have in, in Bangladesh. I remember the, the, what, it was 38, 40,000 for the, every game we played in Safa yeah. against uh, you guys. Yeah, uh, you know, Bangladesh, the, the football is going up and it's growing every day. So that's very positive in Bangladesh. And there's also a lot of companies now who is investing investing in football which is also positive so so yeah i think the future in bangladesh for the football it, it looks it looks bright um and i hope for the pakistani people they will also get a structured league and they will also be able to compete and you know they can bring foreigners and they can bring local players and they can compete at a high level so i hope that for the pakistanis as well um, inshallah inshallah yeah so well uh, for the future i think and hope that we will play each other again and win this time mm -hmm. and then please everybody please take care and stay safe and follow all the the guidance about washing your hands and social distance Ajima. yes and thank you guys for watching yeah. um, assalamu alaikum